make if I want this dying planet? The sorcerer is not a god. It will be beyond the apocalypse. Yes, he is master of the unknown. Master of the unknown. But if it's unknown, how can he be a master of it? That's what I was thinking. This is Will. This is Sci-Fi Guy. And this is Dr. Mordred, master of the unknown. And we're talking a movie which, by anyone's estimation, is a ripoff. And I say that very kindly and generously. It's a ripoff of Doctor Strange, but we'll delve into the reasons it is and how it still sustains its own identity, and it's damn good. Okay, before we proceed, before we uh, jump right into magic and sorcery, full disclosure, complete revelation, divulging here, I love Doctor Strange. There I said it. I know many people do. <laughs> I remember as a kid when I would um, collect, you know, comics and buy my comics, I always either looked for Doctor Strange's guest appearance. You know, maybe he was with Fantastic Four or Spider-Man or X-Men. And then I would buy the dedicated Doctor Strange, Doctor Strange's uh, world, so to speak, and his dedicated book. But, yes, I am a Doctor Strange fan. I'm a strange -o. I'm a Doc Strange, whatever. But so this movie is, and I think will be to any Doctor Strange fan, particularly of interest. So what if I was to tell you that there is a movie, and there is Doctor Mordred, which is sort of a cheaper, um, much cheaper version of Doctor Strange, but it's not a cheap looking version. And that's what's so interesting and so surprising, almost shocking. I'd heard about it, I guess, I don't know, five, six years ago, several years ago, doing research, I guess, on maybe a Marvel property like Doctor Strange, of course, and, and all of a sudden Dr. Mordred came up, and I was like, okay. I think I actually had seen it also as the trailer, saw the trailer on, uh, I guess, a full moon disc, Puppet Master. I love a lot of the full moon titles, and they you know specialize in a lot of horror titles mostly. And I saw it, I think, on a trailer as well. I was like, wow, what is this? And it really did impress me. So, now that I've finally seen the film, saw it courtesy of Prime, which uh, obviously Prime Amazon Prime has a lot of movies, and uh, this is a this is a goodie <laughs> you'll enjoy. But now that I've seen it, um, what do I think? That's the great part and the really surprising part because you know a lot of times you see a trailer. Oh, it looks great. <laughs> and then you watch that movie, and it's a bomb. It's a big nuke. It's a big H-bomb. And But this is not. <laughs> it's not. I was chatting to a friend of mine, my friend Todd, and I told him about him, and I sent him the trailer. And he said, ooh, it looks cheesy. I'm like, well, it really isn't. And I'll I'll really emphasize that and repeat it. It's not cheesy. I mean, it's cheap, or it's cheaper. I mean, Doctor Strange's budget was what, maybe 150 million, 200 million, you know, a definitely over 100 million. Doctor Mordred, let's see, uh, they don't, well, they actually don't give the, uh, they don't even give the uh, budget, but I'd say maybe, who knows, maybe a million or so. It was uh, produced in 1992. Uh, they're calling it an American superhero film directed by the team of Albert and Charles Band. And those are brothers that uh, are, you know, part of the full moon, full moon roster, the full moon uh, pictures uh, family, and the full moon entertainment released in 1992. So, what is the story? What is the real sort of, you know, um, reason that we have Dr. Mordred? And this is the really cool part from the wiki. The film was produced by Charles Band and co-directed by Band and his father, Albert Band. Oh, I thought they were brothers. It's, a, it's his father and son. Okay, they went to get the license, of course, from Marvel Entertainment for Doctor Strange. 
They started the movie, you know, pre-production. It took so long that by the start of the production, the bands had lost the license. So they lost the rights to make a real, authentic Doctor Strange movie. Genuine. <laughs> now, their decision, rather than scrap what they had done, they rebranded the film as Dr. Mordred and made changes to the plot to avoid the copyright problems with Doctor Strange. And originally, the main character, they called him Dr. Mortalis. And it said the main character was originally called Dr. Mortalis for Empire International Pictures and had concept, concept art made by Jack Kirby, the legendary Jack Kirby. So it's a really interesting evolution to think that they were going to make a Doctor Strange movie. This was in 1992. Well, I guess a year or so before because it was released. Dr. Mordred was released in 92. So you say maybe it took them a year or so, maybe even two years. So I guess they started making it in 1990. And what came out in 1989? Batman, you know, Michael Keaton, Bruce Wayne, and, and Batman, and, and Tim Burton directed. So everyone was like, whoa, let's get on the superhero bandwagon. I remember all this talk about James Cameron, that he was going, going to direct Spider-Man, and that never came to be. He's too busy getting wet. <laughs> He's too busy in the water between Titanic, bet between the abyss, and now Avatar, the art of water. So he's a watery chap. But, you know, again, it doesn't take too much calculus and figuring that Dr. Mordred, I think, was probably a direct result of all these companies saying, we're going to make another, you know, a, the next great superhero movie. And Dr. Strange might have been the first one made, made back in 1992 by Full Moon Entertainment. And here are some, just some, there's many, of course, cast members in any film, but the main Cast, the main stars, Jeffrey Combs as Dr. Anton Mordred. For you Star Trek fans, Jeffrey Combs is probably one of the most prolific Star Trek actors. His, I guess, best role or best known role is Wei Yun, the Vorta, the Vorta in Deep Space Nine, who works for the Changelings. Then he also did, he played a Ferengi. Uh, what is it? Uh, he played, and then in Enterprise, in Enterprise he played an Andorian so he's done a lot of Star Trek. Then you have uh, Yvette Napier, Napier uh, as Samantha Hunt. That's like the love interest. Uh, she's the uh, co-star. Jay Akovone Akovone as uh, Tony Gordio. He was he's probably best known in Stargate. He has several episodes in the Stargate SG One series. And then finally, and this is a great connection again to Deep Space Nine, is Brian Thompson. And Brian Thompson, he plays a Klingon in Generations, and then, can't remember the, the actual episode, but he plays a Jem'Hadar in Deep Space Nine in an episode. So you've got Jeffrey Combs, who is most known for Trek fans as a Vorta, and you have Brian Thompson as a Jem'Hadar. How did that happen? But Thompson is great. Brian Thompson is one of my favorites. He, he's such a great character actor. It says he began his career with a small role in, in the 1984 film, The Terminator. So there you go. So as I always say, go watch and taste the taste of tea. You have to taste it. You have to watch it. it it's great. It's just the writing, the acting, the special effects. Um, my, my buddy Eddie, I sent him the trailer and he said, I got to watch it now because look at these effects. You know, of course, the trailer always picks a lot of the good ones, the best. All throughout the film, really solid effects. And one of my favorite types of effects, old school, is stop motion or claymation. And there's a great sequence at the end with stop motion dinosaurs. Oh, and then there's stop motion demons, too. So if anyone likes Ray Harryhausen work, you know, even, even the California Raisins, that stop motion animation claymation, you'll love it. Another thing to love. You know, remember Evil Dead at the end, they had the stop motion in the Evil Dead too. So, love that. Great effects. The acting is great. The acting is excellent. And the writing is, is really good. So, you know, obviously since it's a Doctor Strange, well, rip off now, we understand that it was developed and then changed around when they lost the rights. It's got that whole vibe. He's the protector and the, you know, the dark side and the evil is coming and he must protect Earth from, you know, the baddies. So, um, it's just... Uh, it's great. It's wonderful. I think you'll enjoy. I know any Doctor Strange fan should love. Don't expect a blockbuster. Just expect a really solid, good movie. You won't be disappointed. So go watch. What do you have to lose? I'm looking over the streaming. It's on Prime. It's on Pluto. Um, it's on Voodoo Free. And it's on Tubi Free. 
So you have many options. You don't have to pay a dime. Go watch Dr. Mordred. This is Sci-Fi Guy signing off. This is your will, and I hope you're subscribing. If not, just do so, because it's free. It's always free. Then there's the paid tier. That's four. It's only four ninety nine, and you get goodies. You get exclusives and interviews and stuff that the, the, the freebies don't get. So decide. Go watch Dr. Mordred. Enjoy the holidays coming up, and we'll see you soon.